You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Bailey versus Green. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Miss Bailey. Yes, ma'am. You state you've brought your ex-husband, Mr. Green, to court to prove he is the biological father of your nine-month-old son, Lawrence. Yes, Your Honor. Though you freely admit to sleeping with multiple men during the time of conception, you say you believe the defendant is your child's father because you kept an ovulation calendar and you've narrowed it down to him. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Green, you say you've always had unprotected sex with Ms. Bailey, and yet she never got pregnant. That's true, Your Honor. Now, all of a sudden, she claims you somehow fathered her child. Yes, Your Honor. You argue you are 100% certain you are not her child's father. Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Green, what makes you so certain this is not your child? Well, we went on a four-month drought and um, the first time I had seen her in four months, she already had a little pudge, a little pouch, like she already looked pregnant. Your I... Honor, I always had a stomach. Obviously, I still have a stomach and I'm not pregnant now. <laughs> All right. So, let's state as fact that you're beautiful just the way you Thank are. Thank you. And, Mr. Green, I'd like to hear you please explain to this court why are you so sure? She also admitted that she had been with somebody in February, right before she had sex. Yes, Your with Honor, I, I was supposed to have been in a relationship, which he left me, which he did the same thing. And it was like two, three weeks before me and Mr. Green even slept back together. I had a cycle and everything. All right, so I, I want to understand this. Somebody got to take me back. All right. You all are married. Very Six fast, months. very fast. Shouldn't have been married. Six months. You were married for six months. No, we wasn't, Your Honor. No. We was together about seven months. We, would, we dated for six months. We got we married. Got, we were together we for three for months, months. And she went missing for a whole year. I tried to get a divorce. I tried to get when a divorce. When did you... Look, when I tried did I go to get missing? a divorce. I, I tried to get a divorce. We stayed in lawyer... contact to this day. No. We had sex to this no. day. No, no, We're still having that sex. Is... Our last time having sex was in April. In April. We still, to this day, even if I wanted him, I can get him. So, Listen, therefore... No. No, 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 no. I never look, went there is missing. no getting me. Look, I never Honor, went missing a no, year no, 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 afterwards. No. You're not gonna sit in this courtroom he, and he just talk and talk was. like he that. Look. All right, right let's was. let's get some more because I want to understand your story. So I'm trying to understand this relationship. How it got to the point that you were sleeping together, but you were also admittedly sleeping with other people during the time. So much so that you don't know who the father of your child is. Those are the facts I need. The rest of this yes, Your Honor. is irrelevant to me. Okay. So, at the time you got together, you were divorced, right? Yes, right. Honor. We got a divorce uh, March 25th, and we was together April the 1st. That, no, we wasn't, Your Honor. All I, right. I, even went to, man, I, even I went to you. Albany with him over his family. So, the house. bottom line is, after your divorce, you all were still sleeping together. Yes, we were. Two times. And... More than twice. And... Two times. More than twice. Mm -hmm. Two more yes. people. And two other people. Yes, Your Honor. Admittedly so. Mm -hmm. All during the window of conception. Like, <laughs> yes, the same Honor. month, but not the same windows of conception. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then when you find out you're pregnant, you tell Mr. Green? Yes, I told him. I asked him if I found out I was pregnant, would he believe that it was his child? And he told me yes. Y Your Honor, she disappeared. How he could she talk to yes. somebody when she wasn't around? She was gone for five months. She Your Honor, if I told tell me him she I was pregnant, pregnant I until she was five and a half months pregnant. In March. No. I, I did not I see I her I was, anymore. And then I went with him again when I was three months pregnant to his house. So that was what? Three times after I told him I was okay, pregnant. Okay, so when she tells you she's pregnant, Mr. Green, what was your response? It ain't mine. It can't be mine. Like, she moved to Alabama. Like, sex can't go on from Georgia to Alabama. <laughs> uh, and, and she, like I said, like, uh, she already had admitted to me to two guys prior. Like, in February, Your you already had sex with two other guys. You came to Alabama when and I then was you seven added, months pregnant. You were seven months pregnant. Sex. I can't make you pregnant when you're already pregnant. That's over with. <laughs> Pregnant. I was already pre I was pregnant in February. I was pregnant in February. We exactly. slept together in February, March, yeah. and May. But Miss Bailey, respectfully, you slept with him and two other men. So, do you blame him for not being sure? Or no, you did blame you know him. at that time, Mr. Green, that she had slept with two other men as well? Yes, I did, Your Honor. I did. She told. I mean, like. Uh, she tells me stuff that they think is gonna make me mad. I just let it go over my head, get what I want, and move on to the next. 
Okay. So in your statement to the court, you said throughout your relationship and your marriage, you were having unprotected sex with Ms. Bailey, and yet she never got pregnant. Never got pregnant. So that fuels your doubts. It, it really does, because, and we used to lay in the bed and we used to fi try to find reasons why she couldn't get pregnant. After a while, you know, we talked on the phone several times. She was trying to get me to, you know, buy into the fact that this was my child. So she sent me a picture. He had red hair. He's like almost white. He like and he still man, do. Come and on. he still do. Hey, look. I, I did some research. Boy. I did some research. Let me see your research. I'm I'm glad we finally get into some okay. evidence. Thank you, in here. thank you, thank you, thank you. And what you're about Woo. to read is about the state that you know, unless the child is albino between two African American people, there's no way that child should come out that light with red hair. Why? There's Why? no way. Do you know your whole family history? Do you Yana, know if any red hair are in my family? Because she bought it. His hair is red because somebody else gave it to him. Two different color reds. Two different colors. So this is your evidence that pertains to the fact you don't believe that you or her together could produce a child with red hair. Not only that, Your Honor, he was born a month and a half early. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. You claim when you all kind of reconnected, I'll say that, you thought she was already pregnant. Yes, Your Honor. So when the baby came out a month early, you said to yourself, that ain't my this baby. adds up to it being the other man's baby, not mine. Now, Ms. Bailey, how do you explain this? Your child Your was just born early or... Were you sleeping with the other two men without protection as well? Well, Your Honor, yes, I was. I knew what I was getting into. I knew I was ovulating. I knew what we was going to lead to, but I figured since we, I never did get pregnant between the three years we was together, that I wouldn't get, I wouldn't get pregnant then. Yeah. But when I asked him, would he believe if it was his baby? He told me yes. If you, if you wouldn't have had no doubt about it, you shouldn't have told me, period. You should have right. said yes, and we could have left it at that. You don't have to know if that's your baby or not. He don't need to know his father for real. Well, Why would then... you say that? Because that's, just, that's exactly how he treated my son. Like, he just don't care about them. But, Your Honor, I do have a calendar that I, I have. I would like my, to see um, that. Of my fertility. That tells you the day that we, me and him stepped down, slept together and the other two. So, days. this is your iPad that has your app in red are the dates of your cycle. Mm -hmm. And then in pink, on the 25th is the day this particular app says you would have ovulated. Okay. Yes. So now, going forward, these are the dates that you were having sex with the various men you had sex with. Mm -hmm. On the 4th, which is outlined in blue, you had sex with potential father number one, without protection. Then, the week of your cycle is the next week. The following week, you have sex on the 18th and the 19th, with potential father number two. Then we get to the week where the ovulation date is outlined in pink. That's the yes. 25th. And you just so happen to have sex with Mr. Green on that date. Correct. And the date before. Correct. No protection used. None whatsoever. So based upon this app and the calculations you've done here and the app does for you, it looks to you like Mr. Green would be the father of your child. Exactly, Your Honor. Couldn't be. It was too crowded in there. My sperm couldn't do nothing. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend like I didn't hear that. And I'm gonna pretend like I didn't either. Moving I'm gonna turn on, it on, moving on. When we first met, um, we got into a relationship. First of all, he was already with a woman, okay? He broke up with her to be with me. And then when Thanksgiving came along, he told me he was staying with his sister. So, he asked me to spend a weekend with him, which I did. And I walked in, and he took me into another woman's house. Not his sister's house, another woman's house. So, from then point on, I shouldn't have stopped. I should have stopped messing with him then. Because I disrespectful, can you be? I can another woman at someone else's house. I should have stopped then. I should have stopped. You know, I understand he can do me like this, because right now, I still love you. Even you treat me like dirt right now. I still love you. I still got love for you. But that's your baby. And you gonna take care of him. Point blank, period. That really sounds touching. 
That really sounds touching. I don't believe anything she said because behind. So you didn't take me to another woman's house? Well, yeah. Did I mean, you? That is true. Okay. But I didn't and take when, my wife. And when a family member so passed Mr. Green, her family, she wasn't, wasn't, wasn't I right there with you? Look, she wasn't at her wife. house. Mr. Green. Yes, Your Honor. Why is it everything this woman says you say is a lie, and then in your next sentence it confirms what no. she said is true? I understand. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. So I understand. But she allowed it. She accepted it. Like she said, she could have left After the fact, too. I was already there, Your Honor. Uh, he left. Uh, he, he she left, left in the car. You could Miss Bailey, let's really be honest, because. Although I can see that you are very hurt by Mr. Green's actions, it seems to me that you are most disappointed in your own. And you know your actions <laughs> have now affected baby Lawrence. Yep, because I'm taking care of him by myself, along with two other kids. And this beautiful baby does deserve to know who his father is and to have the love of his father. Yes, Your Honor. So has Mr. Green helped you at all with Lawrence? I mean, he bought two boxes of diapers. Two and boxes. And gave him hand-me-down clothes. And he gave you some clothes. Nothing wrong with some hand-me-downs. No, there's nothing, nothing wrong, wrong with it. Ain't nothing wrong with that. As long as they clean, <laughs> they work. Babies grow fast. Yeah, they, he, and especially him. Right, right. And so, Mr. Green, what is your relationship with baby Lawrence? Do you have one? Uh, I, uh, honestly, like I said, it is a, you know, I could be his father because we use unprotected sex, but you just can't put it on me after after you know and I know what you do. But um, you know, I'm real good to my kids. You know, I just lost my daughter, Jasmine Green. She died in a daycare van in 2011. That was so actually sorry. our demise. That was at the point where our marriage just I, yeah, I, I y'all packed up. Yeah, he ended up I, leaving and, and going back to his ex. I, I, I became while we were still I married. became in protective mode. I needed to protect everything else that did belong to me. So honestly, and I, I honor, figured that's why this, you have a wife, if right, Yana? If Lawrence belongs to me, he will be in that circle also. But I can't give her respect for just calling me whenever she comes from Alabama and say, "If you want to see Lawrence, bring diapers and wipes." Your Honor, that's not true because from um, I don't need anything from you. He has diapers and wipes that I provide for him. Okay. Oh, so so, so I didn't if, never if see, he needs anything, so I never anything... bought diapers and wipes for that boy. All right, but let's let's Your be Honor... let's be clear, just so you understand, your legal right to see a child that is your child is separate and independent of the obligation to provide. So um, the mother of the child, or if it's the father of the child that has custody, can't just say to you, you can't see him unless you bring him something. That's not the law. So that's not the case. Are any of the other men helping you with the child? Do they think that Lawrence could potentially be their son as well, and no, they're Honor. stepping up the plate to do something? No, Your Honor. None of them? No. So you stand in open court and you say, despite everything he's done to you, you still love him and you still have love for him. Yeah. Do you want him back? Do you want a relationship with him? Almost because you're on it. No, I do not. I don't want him back. And no, I don't want a relationship. I just want him and Lawrence to have a relationship. Was that that love when you say, no matter what you've done to me, I still love you, I still have love for you, do you think that has any connection to you maybe suggesting or believing that he's the father of your child is because at a time you really still wanted a connection to him? No, it's just because my feelings never changed for him. Like, that's the reason why I left, to get away from him, to stop these feelings I have for him, to stop being in love with him, period. But you called me and have sex with me. <laughs> you keep coming back um, to me, you... must be good. Um, it ain't that good. It ain't that good. It is what it is, John. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. I'm gonna leave it alone. <laughs> Jerome, give me the results. <laughs> you know, a part of me knows that she tried to trap you because the dates line up and she got a calendar. <laughs> the other part of me is just so annoyed because you just got a joke for everything. I don't like how you downgrade her I don't know. It's something about the way you act towards her that annoys me. No, I was tortured. And it's because <laughs> what I think you do know, you're not a dumb man. So what I think you do know is that she does love you. And you keep saying she offered herself and she keep calling you and she, keep, she just yelled out in open court she loves you. Of course she's gonna keep calling you. The problem is if you don't love her, Stop showing up. <laughs> because ultimately...
ultimately, you just add fuel to her fire and make her think there's a hope. And that's where men and women have to get a clue. You think you just going over there for sex, but when she has sex with you, she thinks that there's another opportunity for you all to figure this thing out and maybe work things out. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. Are we ready for the results? Yes, Your Honor. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Bailey versus Green pertaining to nine-month-old Lawrence Bailey, Mr. Green, you are Lawrence's father. In the infamous words of Mr. Green, it is what it is. What it is. <laughs> and like we used to say in Detroit, so what's it gonna be? <laughs> Meaning, are you gonna step up to the plate and be a father to your son? Yes, Your Honor. Do the right thing? Yeah, she know I will. Now, this court does have resources for you. We're going to offer those resources so you can maybe start sorting through and figure out how to set up those boundaries, how to engage in respectful dialogue, and, and figure out how to do this together. Are we clear? Yes, sir. I believe you can do it. And he's worth it. <laughs> right? Yes. All right, court is adjourned. Holding my son now feels great. I mean, there is no doubt. You know, I love my kids. I love my kids and I'll do whatever it takes to protect my kids and take care of my kids. I'm just glad he finally got it out of the way, knowing that he's his son and maybe he can do better and be in his life and he'll know who his daddy is. <laughs>